And I think that links quite nicely, Simon, as well, to employers and organisations getting behind dates, campaigns and, and so on. So a typical example, both of our organisations, MHFA England and Ripple, have both partnered with Finwell for this month. Um, coming up in April, where we're actually going to be focusing on uh, financial well-being. Now, you might be thinking, OK, well, you know, financial well-being is a completely separate topic. Actually, the link between somebody's financial well-being and mental health, the link between people experiencing suicidal thoughts and their financial well-being is absolutely <coughs> enormous. Um, and my brother was was included in that. So, I think it's important also to get behind these events, these days that people are putting on, um, not just on the days and the months themselves, actually, but but all year round and, and having a focus on all of these different areas to, to upskill our workforce in these new topics. Um, why do you think employers should get behind events like like this? And, and let's use financial well-being month in April as an example with Finwell. Um, I think I think it's that classic bit, isn't it? And and you know, absolutely delighted to be working with you and 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 feel well ar around that. And and like you, you know, a um, uh, friend who you know who's debt and 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 finance um, that uh, that that they died by suicide. And and yeah. it's stigma, the shame, and 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 everything associated, which we have to challenge on a day by day basis. And I think to your point, these campaigns these months are about yes the education but they're also about opening up the conversation they're about enabling people to recognize that there is help and support and i always remember my mum used to say there's nothing you need to know there's nothing too big or too small to talk about you know it, yeah. it may feel too small to be insignificant it may feel so big that it can't possibly be talked about but actually you know that's the culture we've got to create isn't it because if it feels distressing then we need help, however small or big it, it might seem. And I think workplaces can really help create that culture by getting behind and supporting campaigns and events and using it as an impetus for an ongoing conversation. And sometimes people say it's a tick box exercise. And I guess I yeah. want to say it starts somewhere. And if a tick box exercise is where it feels that it will build momentum people will build confidence they'll recognize that uh, that people want and value those sorts of of opportunities so the important bit um, you know again feeling as though it goes right back is um we mustn't only focus on days we mustn't only have some training we mustn't yeah, you know, it has to be combined with you know the flexible working it has to be combined with that sense of psychological safety inclusion and belonging but let's use every opportunity we've got to make sure these conversations are everyday conversations and that if one person um uh, feels more confident to step forward and have a conversation or somebody feels more confident to lean in and ask somebody yeah. if they need to help as a result then it, it it's a good you know it's that yeah. it's a purpose that's gold isn't it really giving giving them the opportunity i think is is the key the key point yeah. there yeah. amazing 